What's up guys? Today we have another nature themed video. We we're gonna do all of this yesterday, but we had an encounter with a snake, as y'all know from my last video. But today we got me, Tanner, and Anthony. Tanner, check out some of the clips from him, Meeks Bros. And Anthony, what's the name of your channel again? Wolfpack, Wolfpack Survival. Survival. The Wolfpack Survival. We're all gonna have clips from this. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, nature. All right, so we're gonna visit a few places. We need to keep our eyes on the ground because there are a lot of snakes out here. But what we're mostly fish, what we're mostly hunting on right now is the red swamp crayfish. Um, it is native to North Mexico, but it came down here to the southeast. That's mostly all we got down here. So that's what we're gonna be focused on today. Anyways, hope y'all enjoy this video. I'll see you next time. Right now, he's just gonna rub his hand across the bottom, see if you can scare any uh, crayfish out of. The crayfish will be down in, up under the dirt, like, unless they're coming up to feed on tadpoles or crickets or whatever comes up. First, I want to look across the side, see if there's any snakes, which it looks like we're good right now. We don't want another encounter like yesterday, but if we find another snake, we'll know what to do. Right here, it looks like a burrow of a fox right here. So, but it's, it's abandoned, so that's good news. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. First, I want to look, see if I see any differences in the sand, which I don't. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. This is what we want. There's, see, you want, there's all that kind of mud up under it. That's where the crayfish will be, especially on hot days like this. And there's a lot of tadpoles down here, so crayfish will feed on the tadpoles. I'm going to go over, over here. Don't drop your phone. Not yeah, because our phones aren't waterproof. So we need to be careful because there's stuff like this. A lot of glass out here. Alright. Can you hold it up for a second? Hold the glass up again. I think I just threw it over oh, here. Okay. Yeah, you... I got it right here. Okay. Like that, guys. Alright. Now I'm right here above the fox den. Even though we have shoes and I can still go right through it. I'm going to pull back right here. Carefully. I don't want to disturb the water. There's something in the water right here I'm going to get a hold of. Tadpoles. There's a bunch of tadpoles. Yeah, that's the root right there. It's a pretty big one. Fairly big one. So we're going to go ahead and move to this next spot. This spot right here seems abandoned. So let's get into it. Welcome to the second spot. After we get to right here, we're um, going to go around to the pond. We're going to walk by the place where we saw the snake yesterday, so we're going to be extra careful. But as you can see, it's very swampy out here, and that's where they'd be. They'll be up under the water up, or up under the ground. There are a lot of gnats. We're in central Georgia, so. No, we're not. Alright, so right here's going to be the second spot. What I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to remove the top layer so you can be able to see. Parkour. Let me clean this out a little bit. Look at that. Look at all those tadpoles. All right, there's definitely going to be some crayfish in here, dude. I'm worried about a um, moccasin stuff up at me, but I don't think there's going to be one in here, to be honest. You know, it'd be smarter if you got a stick. But I don't want to disturb the bottom. That's Maybe. why you only. Mm. It's freaking hot out here. Are you recording anything for your channel? No, I'm not right now. This is the second spot. Stuff is moving. Let me try to catch a tadpole real quick. Hey guys, it's me, Anthony. I'm back. We're finally at our the destination. And right now, we have Billy here. From quarterback Billy Meeks. And he is right now going through here. Trying to catch a crayfish. Or He's a trying to catch a tadpole. Or a crayfish. See what he can get. These things are fast. All right. Oh, look at all those. You see those? Mm -hmm. It's like one of their bigs. I don't want to grab one too hard and hurt it. But you see all those swimming? If you can, try to get close up. Damn. Like if I move one of these limbs, all those start swimming out. There's like hundreds of them. I'm going to move to right here. 
Your phone is hard as crap. Might shut off. There we go. Yeah, you missed again. Sorry guys, it's kind of really hard to record a phone. The crayfish that we're looking for, the red swamp crayfish, would like to live in areas like this. There's, there's vegetation, um, they got animals to eat, and it's not clear, that's the thing. It likes to stay hidden. Whenever you're talking, Billy, just look at the camera, okay? Yeah. I'm starting with that. Hey, Billy, check right here. Right. Okay. It seems like somebody's that looks like a bar or something. Right, right, right. Like right here in this little crevice right there. It's really fun. Watch out, there's a snake. Is it really? Start. Just kidding! I got him. Are you still recording? Yeah. yeah. Look right here. What's that? Oh, look at that. That's a tiny frog. Is it really? I'm gonna try to catch it. Catch the tiny frog. Shoot. Where'd it go? He missed the tiny frog. We're gonna find it. I mean, he just stays at the top of the water. Don't go underwater. Here it is. Got it. Come here. Let me get the first one. You want to try to calm it down? Billy here? I gotta get over there so I can see the frog. Let me see. We're gonna talk about what it is at the end of the show. There's a froggy. Okay. Wait, you gotta that. Where is he? There's some awesome pictures of some close ups. Where'd he go? This is basically all we're, of our day. This is basically all we're gonna find first right here. Catch of the day. Okay. Found a burrow. It looks like it ain't nothing serious. We're still gonna look at it anyway. Oh, look at all these tiny frogs. They're everywhere. Really? Yes. I'm gonna go ahead and catch another one. I already found one. I got one. I don't know if you can see it moving right there. Get in your frog. Oh my god. But there's a lot of them going around everywhere. Looks like just the burrows born. are down these here. Guys are just born. I know. Oh my god. We're gonna put them back down. All right. Hey. Bring hey, me I a think stick, we take please. One. Take, I'm gonna take this one. We're gonna do, take one and then take put two. it in your bag. Well, we're back. gonna do some research on it afterwards. Hey, I need a stick real quick. Can someone go get a um, plastic bag? Why? Please? We need to put one of these in here or a Tupperware container. Probably their home. No, uh, that ain't one of them homes. I look like Why an abandoned snake burrow. Trying to see if anything comes out of it. Looks like it's abandoned. But anyways, we're heading to the next location. Right here is where we saw the snake yesterday. We don't want to get too close to the tall limbs, but this, I'm just bringing you back to where we are. Was right there is where the um pond is, so we're about to be right there. So I'll see y'all there. Sketchy, so we need to walk slow, ears and all them eyes out. We have a machete out here, cutting tall weeds where it's not visible. Like I'm at this Which we're walking really slow. If you run, that's a good way to get bit. No, it's not. Yeah. I've got him out in front of him. Alright, right here, it's starting to die down, so that's a good thing. Alright. Hey, we're here. We are here. Alright, let's go ahead and get through. Did y'all not hear that? Nope. There's a hammer. Alright, guys, so we hit the pond. Back I'm gonna get closer down to the water, and this is where we're really gonna go cray fishing. All right, so I'm down at the edge of the shore. If you're looking, you really can't see nothing. Oh, there's a bass bed over there. I know. I don't think we're gonna find anything special today, but it's just not the day today. There's a fish right there. No, I see a lot of tadpoles though. Right there. Oh, I see There's them. Two fish. I'm gonna try to zoom in. I don't know if y'all can see it though. Try to catch some fish with our hands. We should have 
some line and some hooks. Alright. Sun just went behind a cloud, so that's good. We got shade. Show y'all another look at the shore. We're following this fish right here. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm also looking at the shore just in case there's a moccasin or any kind of snake ready to jump out at me. Anthony, you gonna get some footage for your channel? Yeah, just one second, dude. Yeah. Uh, right here we got a cow ant, as we call them down oh, here. God. Highly oh my venomous. God. Is that really a cow ant? Yeah. It's highly venomous and hard to Jesus. kill. That's yeah. Hey, man. let's get it in that. Let's catch it. Where is it? I want y'all. Right it. there, crawling across. I don't know if y'all can see it. Well, all right, here, record. I'll get the catch. I got it. You caught the frog. I catch this. You guys, it's me answering here today from Wolf Pet Survival with Billy, and we just found a cow ant. These things are highly venomous and like impossible to kill. Got it. We just caught it. We'll be taking this back with us and we'll be showing it after this video. See I'm gonna. There it is right here. Let's go ahead on the way back. So, we just found out what this is. This is actually the velvet ant. Is it really? Very related to wasps, but has its own distinct um, classification. So we're gonna do, we're gonna talk about it a little bit. So, anyways, hope y'all enjoy. It has a very big stinger, and if you get stung by this, it's really gonna hurt. It injects um some venom into you. But anyways, get ready for the information or whatever. <laughs> here's the velvet ant right here. Wait. This one. Okay, looks so like here's the ant. I missed everything. We when, when even when we were catching it, and everything, I missed it. And this is a velvet ant, aka known as the cow killer. And if you know, if you're from around here, which is in Georgia, or somewhere south, you know these things are incredibly hard to kill. Alright. And so, it has a really big stinger. I put this, don't tilt it like that. I'm about to give y'all some information on it. It is actually not an ant, it is a wasp. This one looks like a male, because I do not see a stinger. They are not aggressive in any kind of way. They will try to escape from you. They're usually trying to find a nest because they don't they don't have colonies. They it's a wasp. They have nests. Um again, they're not aggressive. They'll try to escape. They're they're going through the soil trying to find nutrients that they need. But the females, if they sting you, it is very painful. I'm not gonna lie. If about you want to see how painful, just go check out Coyote, Coyote Peterson. He, he yeah, we're not. We're not gonna get stung by one of these. We we're just not gonna not do that. that hey, maybe for our thousand subscriber thing. I'm gonna kill myself if I do that. If we can get 10 million likes, we'll do it. But yeah, here it 10 is. 10 million likes. There's we'll a close-up of it. Get that. Get that. Oh, there it goes over. It does he's, not look like a female. He's dancing. Those, Whoa! Look, look at the back. I do not see a stinger. This thing won't be coming up really for a while. We're gonna, we're gonna see if we can find a way to pick it up to show y'all even more. Picking this up, we're gonna see if this is actually a female. This thing has will do no harm to us unless we decide to do harm to it. Right, so, this is it, guys. We're gonna get some tweezers and see what we can do. Cow thing. All right, for a few more, few more facts on this thing. They do not make a sound at all. Males have wings and hairs, which this one is a female, so it has a very big stinger. Females do not have wings, but they do <gasps> have a stinger. No, and get your phone down there, because right here you can see see that black part on its butt? It's the tip of its stinger. I know, that's the stinger. Let's right try to escape. We're not going to cause any harm to this ant or wasp. Mm. We're going to let it go, because we're not going to cause any harm to the insects that we catch. I'm going to try to pick it up, though. We're gonna pick it up so you can get a closer look. We're gonna pick this up. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start picking it up. Ready? Be careful. You okay. not want to get stung by this Here creature. Go, guys. This is. Missed. Dude, look, got... I mean, literally, look at these tweezers that I'm using. It's just a piece of wood bent. You, you gotta use stronger, dude. You, gotta use... you do not want to get stung by this female. This female has like a the whole whole. What thorax. this female does? Oh, look at my hand. hand. Her whole. Her... You see her thorax right there? That piece right there, that end part of her, that's a whole whole stinger is in there. That's how long her stinger is. Here's a fact about what these ants like to do. They'll, they'll not grab the back of it. It's making a noise. 
You, it makes a very low sound. All right, I what, need this side to be Listen, disappointed. what these wasps do, they'll crawl into a bumblebee hive and lay their larvae in that hive, and when they hatch, they'll kill all the bumblebees. And then so that would be the new cow killer's nest. There. The tip is I'm going to go get some real things. Okay, yeah, go get some real tweezers. Don't, don't, don't mess with it. Them tweezers ain't really working. All right, on my phone I'm, I'm going to give you some lighting. Lighting. You do not want to get stung by this creature, I'm telling you. It would, you would probably... This is third on the pain index, I believe. The tarantula hawk is second, and bullet ant is first. I don't even think we should pick it up. I think this is the safe distance that we're at. We're taking, like, all of the precautions. We have a book on standby, if it comes at us. Anthony? Yeah. Anthony? Think about this. Yeah. You're not very strong, so it's hard to pick it up. Trying to grab to where it will not hurt the ant in any way. It's making a noise. All right, we're just gonna leave it alone for right now. But I'm gonna zoom in some right here. Here it is. We caught a velvet ant. We caught a velvet ant. This is insane. Oh, I'm gonna go over the facts I've already given. Look at the part on its <laughs> thorax on the very back. Hey guys, it's me, Anthony here. I'm going to the sting zone of the velvet ant. You're retarded. Hey, stop, chill out, stop. dude. Chill, chill. All right, let's go back on the facts that we have of it. Um, is that's what I'm saying. This is a female, as you can tell, because the males have wings, but and long hairs. This female has short hair and it has a stinger, and the sting will really hurt. Um, it is it is venomous. Venomous. <laughs> you can tell by the bright colors of the velvet ant. What they like to do, they they are actually scared of humans. They will not attack in any way unless you provoke it. Which is what we are doing now. Yeah, we're going to let it go, though. We're not going to cause any harm to this ant. Unless it's not it causes even, harm to us, then we're going to... This is not even an ant. It is an actual wasp, and they live in nests. So what they do is they go into bumblebee hives. They lay their larvae in there. And then when the larvae hatch, they kill all the bumblebees. So this is a really great find. So... It is, it is, these are mostly found in Arizona, Nebraska, Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, South Carolina, and North Carolina. In the southern states of America. Right. Arizona mostly, but you got a lot of animals down in Arizona. A lot of animals. We're soon going to let this thing go. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all like these, these kind of videos, then let me know. And I'll see y'all next time.